Welcome to Nana's. I'm Shelly Carlson, aka Nana, and I'm glad you're here with me to make a upcycled plastic bottle airplane craft. This is what we'll be making today, and I've got a step-by-step -step video for you to follow along as I make this craft. I really thought it was a fun one. It takes a little bit longer, and so if I get ahead of you on a step, I want to make sure that you know to stop the video, finish the step, or go back in the video and watch it again if you need to see something done to make sure that you get it right. So enjoy the craft and let me know how it goes for you, okay? So let's go have some fun. So I'm going to make an airplane out of a plastic bottle. I thought about using a milk jug, but that seemed a bit big, and I don't drink pop, so I didn't have a two liter bottle, so I'm going to be using this little bit smaller size plastic bottle, and this is going to be the front end of the plane, and I'll use some cardboard for the wings, and so I'm going to need some uh, scissors and an X-Acto knife to cut the plastic, and then I'm going to, and of course I'll use a ruler and a pen to draw on the cardboard to cut it, and I put out some E6000 glue. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it or not, but I'm going to have it handy. As well as some paint, because I'm going to paint this whole thing white afterwards, and then paint some designs on it with my acrylic paint. So this is Rust-Oleum, uh, and it's supposed to be ready to uh, bond to plastic as well as wood and other things. So we'll give that a try, we'll see. So I'm going to start by slitting off this label and depending on what you use don't want to slit it too hard or it'll cut the plastic too oh that was slick I'm not going to be too worried about a little bit of glued plastic on the bottom here but if you want that off you can use something like Goo Gone have you ever heard of that and it takes this extra stuff off and the glue that's on it too. Isn't that kind of cool? Then this cardboard is going to be the wings. So I think with this size container, I think that I'm going to make this side section. This is a cereal box. So I'm going to use this side section to be the wings of the airplane. I think that's going to be the perfect width. Those are about two and a half inches wide. So I'm just going to cut along this bend in the box. And I'd already cut one of them apart so I could get to the cardboard. And that's going to be our wings that go um, on the front of the airplane. And then we're going to make something for the tail section. And I'm going to make that about one and a half inches wide. So I'm going to measure on here so I can cut a nice straight line, of course. Well, I think I can cut a straight line. If you're going to use the two liter bottle, I think it'd be nice to use a little bit heavier plastic or heavier cardboard than this because this is a little bit floppy. I just feel like they're making the cereal boxes thinner and thinner every year. I don't know if I'm thinking just making that up in my head or not, but this is going to be the tail section or the, 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 the I don't know what they're called, the fins that come out the side and the tail section. And then I'm also going to make a triangular piece that comes out of the top and it's going to go through, all of these are going to go through slits in the sides of the container and go all the way through the container. So I'm going to make this triangle piece that's going to go on the back of the, of the airplane right here. And I think it doesn't need to be real big. And it's going to go down inside of the 
container. So this is the part that's going to go down inside. I hope this works. I think it will. I think it will. I think it will. <laughs> and I'm going to make a pattern for all of these for you to be able to use. I'm going to kind of round that off on the top. All right, so now we're going to make a propeller. And the propeller is going to have to be, have a center section as about the size of your lid. I will have a pattern for you. I'm freewheeling on this one though. So it's going to need to fit over this section. And I'm going to draw a circle around here. I'm, this is the the propeller edge and then the propeller is going to come out kind of like a flower petal and if you need to make one or make one bigger you can see how I've done it my family has a lot of pilots so I've gotten to fly quite a bit which is fun but I'm not a pilot, so I don't know all the details about what things are called and so forth. So here's our propeller. And we'll also need some wheels that are going to go underneath here. And I've wondered about using these caps, but I need it for the end here. So I'm going to try drawing. Make it a little bit bigger than this cap. I'm going to draw a wheel. And a second wheel. This is my wheel. And then it's going to have a section in the center where we can glue it to the bottom of the airplane. So this will, act, will end up being kind of flat on the top when I bend it. I'm going to bend it right here. Just, you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So here's some of my pieces. I'm going to cut those out. And we're just going to cut them out on the outside lines. This cardboard is so much easier to cut than like from a Amazon box or something, but it is lighter weight. But you can get cardboard from a cereal box or from a shoe box that you have. But make sure you that you know nobody needs the box or something. That would not be good. And if you don't have a box or if you don't have I'm going to use my pen here to poke a hole in the center of that. You don't have a container. Like I said, I didn't have a two liter container. I could ask a friend if they would save me one. Because I don't, we just don't drink pop. So we don't, don't carry, keep those around. But I'm sure someone would save one for you or a box. That would be good. Okay, this is going to be my propeller. Get all of our pieces out here. And this is going to be our wheels. Looks like a set of eyeballs or something, like for an owl. So I'm just going to cut those out on the outside line. You'll have a pattern to use. There we go, there's one wheel, and here's a second wheel. And then this is going to bend like this and be underneath the airplane for the wheels. So are you ready to put our airplane together? Let's do it. So I'm going to this bottle is a little bit flat on one side, so I'm going to put that side to the bottom. Ooh, it's still got a little bit of water in it. We are going to make a slit in both sides of the bottle 
that so that we can slip the wing section through it. So I'm going to cut off these extra end sections because we're not going to use those. Those almost could be our flaps though. And maybe my flying relatives would be proud of me for knowing what flaps are. And it's going to go a couple inches down from the top of the bottle. And we're going to try to make them halfway down on either side. That's not going to work. Oh well, yeah, it does. A felt tip pin might work better. But you remember our wings were two and a half inches, just a little bit bigger. So that means our slot is going to have to put them through is going to be, have to be about two and a half inches long. And then we want one on the opposite side. Let's try doing this one first. Be very careful with how you do this. You just gently push down and it'll go through the plastic and kind of just do that over and over because if you just start pulling too hard it'll just rip all the way down easily. It's easy to kind of get going and not know how to stop. So I just kind of push down a number of times and get the slit about as long as I want it. I'm going to make it just a little bit longer so we'll open up and let that cardboard go through. Okay, so we've done one on one side and now we're going to turn it over and as best as we can, we're going to go onto the opposite side. There we go. That's a little better. Not much, but a little. And I'm going to try to see where I started on the bottle. See, it's right here. So I want to start right here. I'm going to end right here. And when I look through, I'm about halfway through the bottle. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that on the camera but I'm about halfway around the bottle. And again, I'm going to cut with my X-Acto knife just by pressing small pressure points. And I keep cutting it. Be very careful with an X-Acto knife. That's obvious. I could probably start this with my scissors and then finish it with the, or start it with the X-Acto knife and then finish it with my scissors if I wanted. Okay, always put it, oh, retract it or put it away when you're done. This is going to be for these wings at the front. And we also have our tail section back here, so it's going to be as far back as we can get it. And right in line with the wings. So I'll cut down, and that was an inch and a half long. About an inch and a half long, and then I'm going to go halfway around again and do that inch and a half, which was right behind here. And it goes a little past, past uh, this little rim, and I hope I'm going to be able to get these all the way through and poking through the other side. Well, you are with me and figuring things out if it doesn't work quite right. We're going to use our problem solving to figure it out. Okay, I'm going to make this just slightly larger. Okay. Got our slits made there and there and then on the top we have one more slit to make. I'm going to draw this with my pen. Okay, here's halfway and halfway. So on the top, I'm going to make a fin, place for the fin, which is also about an inch and a half wide. From here to here. And I need a better marker. I think there was still a little bit of water left on my container because it's not sticking very well. Okay, so this is the top fin. We don't need to make a place to um, put the wheels because we're going to glue those on the bottom. So it does not need a slit. Here's my pieces.
and we're going to put them together. All right, so the first thing we're going to try is this wing section. All right, I chose the piece of the box that had this extra piece of cardboard on it, hoping it'd make it a little bit stronger. So I'm hoping it will also make it easier to get this through the plastic. But I don't know. So it's going to go through one side, but the trick is to get it through the other side, right? So there it is going through the plastic. Can you see that? That part has worked so far. Now, they try to get it out the other side though. So if I can get it started with one corner. And feed that through. I've almost got it. There it is. All right, coming through. Kind of have to work at that. <gasps> but there's our wings! Yay! There. Okay, so that's our wing in the front of our plane. Ooh, here's the front. Last thing we're going to put on. Oh, I got a little water on my back section. There was a little water inside of here. Rats. Well, in the directions, I say to make sure it's dry, and there's why. Okay, so now we're going to get the little tail section through, and I'm hopeful, this one is not quite as strong, so I'm hopeful that it will feed through okay. Let's, let's see. All right, so there I am going through, and then if I can kind of open up the slit on the other side, maybe I can get it to come through there. Well, there it is opening up. I'm going to take my pen and see if I can't lift that cardboard up. Whoop, I lost it. So you're going to have to use some problem solving skills here if you can't get this. I'm thinking what I'm going to try is to poke my paintbrush through here along with the cardboard and see if I can't kind of get it to push through the other side. And that helped me. Looky there. Then I can catch the corner of the cardboard, pull my paintbrush out. There's our problem solving skills. Okay, I got this one with the blue and this one with the plain, but we're going to paint it later so that doesn't matter. Okay. So these are going to be shorter than the wings, but I also want to make them kind of um, slanted back. So I'm going to cut this off right here. I'm going to need those extra pieces. Get them out of the way. And there's the side section. So now we've got our front wings and we have our black back. Fins. I'm going to have to ask what those are called. I'm going to have to look that up. Sorry, everybody. And then this part is going to go straight down. And this is part of the aerodynamic part, so the, the triangle piece goes towards the front of the plane. Can you see that? So all we have to do is stick this down into the plastic. I'm going to make that just a wee bit longer. I'm a little concerned. I'm going to need to glue this one to make it stand straight up, but we'll see. So this one goes in like that. Oh my gosh, look! That actually looks really good. I'm impressed. Yay! Now I'm going to add the wheel section on. So I showed you how we drew, draw it, and you have your pattern. We do not need to cut the little holes out in the center. We're going to paint those later and make them look like wheels if we want to. But you're going to bend these down so that we can glue this section to the underside of the plane, and we're going to do it towards the front. 
so it sits on these wheels and we're just we're not going to worry about the back the back will sit down kind of on the tabletop but the front we want to stand up so we're going to use this E6000 glue I haven't used this for a while but it should glue well on plastic I'm going to probably stick my hand to it you wait and see sounds like me okay so there's my wheels and it's going to go see that I've, there's the front end of my plane and it's going to go towards the front on the underside of the plane I think I'm going to have to let those sit for a little bit to get solid on there and be firm and I think I may glue a little piece of cardboard in between here in order to keep those from coming apart. So this is again some of my problem solving. I'm going to cut a little piece of cardboard and I want them to stay like that. So I'm going to cut my cardboard and then I'm going to fold a little piece like this to hold these wheels in place. What do you think of that? That is Farm Girl Ingenuity and I'll bet you have ingenuity too. Ingenuity, problem solving skills. That's what we need in, while we're doing our crafts. Okay, so this is going to get glued in between here like that. Oh, we might have to hold it for a minute or use some clamps of some sort to, so it will stay. Okay, I'll be back with you in a minute. We're going to go ahead and put the propeller on here. I'm kind of excited about that part. So this is the last piece and it's going to slip on the end here. It's going to, um, as you can see, it's going to slip on here and then we're going to put that lid back on. I'm going to put this in my other hand because I'm right-handed most of the time. So I'm going to put it on that hole. I cut it about the same size as the cap. So you're going to use your cap on here to make this the correct size for your airplane. And then we just put it on through the hole and thread the lid on and looky there, it even goes around. Woohoo! That's kind of fun. I was hopeful that would happen, but... And there we have our airplane. Looky there. So the next thing we're going to do is paint our airplane. And I'm going to be using white to make mine all white to start with and then come back and paint some designs on it. Doesn't that sound fun? So that's what I'm going to do next. So we're going to head outside and I'm going to do some spray painting. We're going to start with the top of it, go let that dry, then turn it over and do the underside of it.
So I've got some paints out on my plate. And I'm going to paint the underbelly of this plane a solid blue. Maybe I'll just do kind of like a broad stripe of blue so I don't have to try to cover all of that. Okay, so these are stabilizers. Horizontal stabilizer and vertical stabilizer. So there you have it. I finally know the name of those things. And I thought I would do some blue on this vertical stabilizer. So you know what, I think I'm going to paint this all blue also. Ah, I love this blue and white on an airplane. Even if it is just a craft airplane. <laughs> and I think I'm going to put a green stripe above the blue one here. Try to make it as straight as I can. It's not perfect. Oh, I know. Maybe I could do some green and blue stripes on the wings. What do you think of that? Now, these should go underneath the wings too, but I'm just going to do the top part of the wings. Oh, I think that's looking kind of airline-like. <laughs> so, I'm also going to use some of this black to make some windows here, like for the areas where a pilot might sit. <laughs> Definitely looks like eyebrows. All right, I'm going to try to put on some little passenger windows. I've got kind of a flat brush and some black paint, and I'm just going to make little squares with that flat brush stroke that goes straight down the back of the plane. Now, we could make designs on here if we wanted to of various sorts. But how about a star on each wing? Make like a little, several little triangles here. And then I'll fill in the center. There's a yellow star. Oh, I like that. And you could draw the, your shapes first before you paint to make sure that you have them the way you like them. Oh, that makes it pop. So that tells me that I might want a little yellow stripe somewhere. Maybe right on the end of the wing here. I just like the way that yellow makes everything pop. I think I've got my plane the way I like it. And what do you think? So how did it go making the upcycled plastic bottle airplane craft? It was a lot of fun to make, so I hope you had fun as well. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all of my short and long videos for new crafts, and you can come over to welcometonanas.com and subscribe so that you get a weekly email with each of my new crafts as well as the video tutorials. I hope that you'll join me, and I hope you have a great week. See you soon!